Alright guys, this is Anil back with some more exclusive sat light phone taps on the old Tyson Fury. Apparently got intercepted by my FBI CIA MI5 agents who work with me. That the King of Saudi Arabia rung up Tyson Fury and says I'm going to try and remember the conversation. I think we should have typed it out, printed it out. But basically, if you don't work, if you don't follow through your contract, you won't ever work in the Middle East again. Not with WWE and all these lot. And you never box in the Saudi Arabia again either. So you better go through it and not do the trilogy wilder yet. You've signed a contract, at least honour this contract, said the Saudi Arabian king. So they cornered old Tyson now, aren't they? He can't get out of it by the look of it, unless he never wants to work in the Middle East and make a load of money. Easy money. But not against AJ, obviously. Also, the king of Saudi Arabia says he'd buy Bob Aram out and sack him straight away. Buy Frank Warren's Queensbury Pie production. Kick his old ass out. The two old gits will be gone. The two Hall of Famers, they keep, Blue Blood keeps saying they're Hall of Famers, legends. You know, Eddie Hearns are going to be the best Don, I believe, in the long run for boxing. He wants UFC style, none of this favouritism, picking who you want, be like. You're number one, you fight number two, you know. You're the champ, you fight the next in line. None of this jump in the queue like Tyson Fury did with his stiff legs and landed in front of White, didn't he? So, you know, Queensbury Pie will be gone. And for Billy Joe's Saunders calling, and Tyson Fury calling Eddie Earn a wanker, I just say, I've got no law to know, but I just sit you're biting the hand that feeds you, aren't you, Billy Joe Saunders? I'll give you the biggest fight against Canelo. And you're whinging, because he's not got his arm around you. You know, when you've got the biggest star, apart from AJ, you're going to look after Canelo, aren't you? You're, you know, he's got to be a... Uh, he's trying to be even-handed, but of course Canelo's a star of the show, isn't it? Billy Joe Saunders picked... You know what I mean? If it's a Billy Joe Saunders show, you'll pick Canelo. You'll be the main man, ain't you? So learn to be the B side because you're going to get your ass knocked out, I believe. And that'll be Travellers Nil, number two, Don, one. Then AJ does the same to Fury, seven days a week, twice on Sundays. So that'll be two nil to the, the two kings of boxing. And Tyson Fury be knocked out next. Sorry, Travellers and his fans, but that's just the way I see it going. And anyway, don't worry. When Canelo levels you, you can go back to old Queensbury Pie, can't you? And uh, go back to fighting nobodies on BT Sport. No, oh, I don't mind BT Sport. I had it a little while back. But, you know, just ungrateful, these two, isn't they? And Fury thinks he's a king now. I mean, without AJ, he'd be uh, sweeping Stephen his stadium, never come back, would he? Drinking beer. But, you know, he saw the money AJ was generating and the interest in boxing come back. That's why he gave up the drinks and that for the old money. You know, he's a fighting man, I think, because even Chisora said it, that he's, you know, a different type of bloke, fought from a baby, didn't he? Fought, fighting over Farley Rusks. <laughs> So, you know, you've got a credit for that, but I think dismissing AJ as this stiff bodybuilding bum is ridiculous, you know. He's stiff, old AJ, you big ugly shit house. I'm going to do you in three rounds. Easy work. Cronk style. And retire. Or try to. If not, I'll quit on the stall. So Fury's, obviously, we know what's going to happen now. He's going to quit on his stool. As I said, he's a quitter. 
not like AJ gets off the deck, no matter what round it is, he's in there till the end. You know, Fury would blow himself out and realise AJ's not going nowhere, then he'd quit on the stall. The old tail would fly over the top rope, and that'd be the end of him, wouldn't it? In my book. So uh, we'll let it see all play out. But, you know, Fury's been going to be exposed for a braggart. You know, like Wilder was the same boat before Fury humbled him. So when Fury leaves, AJ's going to give me his shirt, be humble, and then he'll be fully baptised, won't he? <laughs> there we go. Catch you later.